Thank you for joining us for Fox 2 News at 5. Jasmine Huda is off tonight. I'm Shirley Washington. And I'm Elliot Evans in for Vic Faust. First on Fox after a dramatic day in court, a verdict is imminent in the Dewan Ferguson murder trial. Fox News' Kelly Hoskins has been in the courtroom all day, and she joins us live now from Clayton with the latest. Kelly. Well, Elliot and Shirley, we're told that the verdict is in. The jury has just uh, returned to the courtroom, and the verdict is in. So we are expecting an announcement here shortly, and we will definitely bring it to you. Now, prosecutors charged Dewan Ferguson uh, in the death of his son, who went missing nearly 20 years ago. But throughout the trial, the defense team said that the prosecutors had no evidence, and Christian's body has not been found. Closing arguments were presented Friday in the Dewan Ferguson murder trial that made national headlines after his disabled son, Christian Ferguson, disappeared in 2003 when he was nine years old. His father told police his SUV was stolen with his child inside. To this date, Christian's body has never been found. During closing arguments, prosecutors pleaded their case to try and prove Dewan Ferguson neglected his son over the years and ultimately caused the child's death. Next, it was Juan Ferguson's defense team turn who fired back and said that the state made a lot of rumors, theories, and innuendos throughout the trial about what type of dad Dewan was, but had no actual evidence of murder. The defense team went on to say that prosecutors had no proof of a kidnapping, did not prove a cause of death, and say Christian's body was never found and cannot prove Dewan Ferguson is guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Now, the prosecution's last witness testified Dewan revealed where Christian was buried. However, a defense witness testified and said that conversation never happened. Also noted that when the FBI searched his home, all medications were in the home and he had no motive to kill his son. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it now becomes your task to retire to the jury deliberation room. After closing arguments, the judge gave the jury its final instructions and the 12 jurors began deliberations. Now we're told that that verdict has just been announced and Dewan Ferguson has been found guilty, murder first. And we're going to have a press conference here shortly with St. Louis County Prosecutor Attorney Wesley Bell, along with Christians Ferguson's family. And so we will bring that to you live again. Once again, the verdict in Dewan Ferguson found guilty on murder first. Live in Clayton, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.